Hello folks, and welcome back to Triangle Inequality Theorem, part two. This is my favorite theorem. As you know, in the last video, we talked about my buddy, the hinge theorem, where we know that the longest side has to be across from the biggest angle. So the wider an angle opens up, the bigger the side across from it is going to be. In this part of the theorem, we are going to talk about the types of triangles and the sizes of triangles that are actually possible. So some people, if you just um, kind of think quickly about it, might think that you, know, you could take any three sides and throw them together to make a triangle. Um, that's actually not true. Um, if you have two really long sides, then the third side can't be really, really short, right? So there's going to be, in order for all the three corners to meet, there's going to be some restrictions on how big the sides can be, and that's what this theorem tells us. So what we're going to be able to do here is look at any three lengths and say definitively, yes, you'll be able to draw a triangle with those three side lengths, or no, that's physically impossible, you couldn't do it with the best ruler anybody ever had. Okay, so how do we know if we can make a triangle out of three side lengths? Here's the rule. Any two sides have to add up to be more than the third side. Okay. So I have to be able to pick any two sides of the triangle, and if I add them together, that number has to be bigger than the third side. Okay. Another way to say that would be that the third side has to be shorter than the sum of the other two. And we're going to look at a bunch of examples like this. Okay, so let's look at this one. Could we make a triangle with side lengths of 4, 5, and 10? What do you think? Could I do that? Using this rule, could I take two sides, any two sides, add them up, and have them be more than the third side? Tell me what you think. All right, so let's try it. Any two sides, right? Not just one particular pair, any two sides. All right, I have four, five, and 10. Those are my three sides. So if I take 10 and five and I add them up, I get 15. And that is bigger than my third side, which is four. Awesome. Okay. Same thing if I add 10 and four. If I take 10 and 4 and add them up, I get 14, and that's bigger than this third side I haven't used yet, which is 5. If I take 4 and 5 and add them up, though, I get, I almost said 9, or 10, I get 9. And 9 is not bigger than 10. So this is a big fat fail. I cannot make a triangle with side lengths of four, five, and 10. It is not possible. Okay. I wanna show you why that is. Okay. Take a look at this. Notice what they did here was they put 10 across the bottom. That's the biggest side, right? So of these three sides, they put 10 across the bottom. I want you to imagine that these other two sides are connected right here, but that they swing like doors, right? So that's what these little, this side is swooping, right? So if I stood this straight up, it would be five up on this side and it would be four up on this side. And what they're showing is they're taking those sides and they're dropping them in. What I want you to see here is because this one's five and this one's four, there's always going to be a gap between them. Even when they've dropped all the way down, there's still gonna be a gap between them. They're never gonna close off to be a triangle. And in fact, I know what the gap will be. If this side comes in five and this side comes in four, it's gonna be a one in there, okay? So notice this said that any two sides have to add up to be more than the third side, right? Even if this was five and five, they wouldn't meet up until they touched all the way down here. Well, that won't be a triangle. But if one of these sides is just the slightest bit bigger, right? If one of them is five and one of them is 5.1, then at some point when they're trying, when they're dropping, they're gonna touch each other. They're gonna hit into each other. And that's what creates the triangle. Okay. So I always, um, when I'm doing the triangle inequality theorem, I always picture it this way. I picture the big side on the bottom and then I draw my other two sides and I say, well, would they touch in the middle or would there be any overlap? Because if not, they're not going to make a triangle. All right. 
Let's try one, two, and three. Use that idea that we just used and decide if you think we could make a triangle out of sides one, two, and three. All right, what do you think? Let's see, is that gonna make a triangle? So once again, we have three on the bottom. I've got two on this side and one on this side. There's my three side lengths. And notice, when are these gonna touch? If I swoop the two down and I swoop the one side down, they're gonna touch, but they're not gonna touch until they're lying flat. In other words, I have three on the bottom, and then in here I have, comes in one, and it comes in two, right? They're not gonna touch until they're flat, so that's not gonna work either. In other words, it doesn't meet this criteria. If I take three and one, that adds up to four, bigger than two, fine. Three and two adds up to five, which is bigger than one, fine. But it fails right here. One and two don't add up to be bigger than three, they just add up to be three. So it has to be bigger. Okay, so if we look at <clears throat> this triangle here, we can write three statements about what has to be true. I think this is probably, at least for me, a more complicated way of looking at this theorem. Okay, so what this says is I should be able to take any two sides, add them up, and have them be bigger than, remember this symbol means, oops, this symbol means greater than your munchy mouth goes towards the bigger thing, right? Does your teachers make a Pac-Man out of it? Oh my, my teachers put alligator teeth in it. Like this. Wait, whatever makes you happy. Okay, so I should be able to make three statements like this, right? So let's go with alphabetical order. I'm gonna make my first statement be A and B, if I added them up, have to be greater than C. And it looks in this triangle like that's definitely true, right? A and B are long and C is kind of short. All right. It also has to happen, though, that I could take A and not B, but C. I have to add those up and have it be bigger than B. And again, visually, pretty much looks like that's happening. The last thing that has to happen, our third combination, I took A and B and A and C. The last thing, I should be able to add up B and C, and they should be bigger than A. So B and C bigger than A. It's got to be true. Now, listen, you may be looking at this and saying, you don't know if that's true or not, lady. You don't know the measurements of this. I do know it's true. You know how I know it's true? That's an actual triangle I'm looking at. And if these three statements weren't true, we wouldn't be able to draw a triangle. That's the triangle inequality theorem. That if you don't have two sides adding up to be bigger than the third side in any possible way you arrange the sides, you don't have a triangle. Period, end of story. It's physically impossible to draw that triangle. Okay, so let's take a look at these two different sets. Right. I wanna be able to add any two sides and they add up to be bigger than the third side. All right, so let's try this one right here. Go ahead and take a minute. Let me know what you think of five, eight, and 12. Okay, so let's try three combinations. Five and eight, is that bigger than 12? How about five and 12? Is that bigger than eight? And then my last combination would be eight and 12. Is that bigger than five? Now you might be thinking, lady, some of these statements are pretty stupid, right? Eight and 12 is 20, bigger than five, yes. Five and 12 is 17, bigger than eight, yes. Five and eight is 13, bigger than 12, yes. This is going to make a triangle for me. Right. And if I use my little um, diagram thing here, what I would do is I would go, okay, here's 12, right? On this side, I'm gonna come in five. And on this side, I'm coming in eight. And notice, there's gonna be overlap in here. That means that I'll be able to raise these sides and have them meet up here somewhere. It's a triangle. Okay. Let's try it over here. Five plus eight, is that bigger than two? Do I even need to go on? <laughs> um, how about five plus two, is that bigger than eight? 
And then how about 8 plus 2? Is that bigger than 5? I think this fails on every single one. Oh, no, it doesn't fail on the middle one. 8 plus 2 is 10. That's not bigger than 5. Womp womp. 5 plus 8 is clearly not bigger than 2. The only one that passes is this middle one. Okay. Now, listen, I'm showing you this because one of the things that people tend to do is they check one combination, and if that combination works, they're like, hey, triangle. Mm -mm. It's got to be all three. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's a lot of checking. I don't want to do that. Don't worry, because I have a shortcut for you. Okay. As long as the two smaller sides add up to be bigger than the third side, you're pretty much good to go. So for example, over here, the two small sides, two plus five, that has to be bigger than eight, right? Isn't this where it failed? Because obviously, if I add the big side and the middle side, that's going to be bigger than the smallest side. Right? But if you can add the two smallest ones and have them add up to be bigger than the third one, you're going to be good to go. Okay, you ready? I renamed this theorem. I call this little and middle is bigger than big. You like that? Say that five times fast. Little and middle is bigger than big. Over here, is little and middle bigger than big? Heck yeah. Here's little and middle, right? Little and middle is 13. Is that bigger than big? Heck yeah. 13 is bigger than 12. Over here, little and middle. Here's little. Here's middle. That's 7. Bigger than big? Heck yeah. Or no. Oh my gosh. I said heck yeah. No. 7 is not greater than 8. Settle down, Britain. Look how, the, look how disgruntled this guy is. He's very upset. Look at his eyebrows. Although, honestly, if I'm being, he looks kind of upset over here. He looks a little evil. I think I need new clip art. All right. So, can you check all three combinations? Heck yeah. Should you probably check all three combinations? Hmm, probably. I would want to. But if you're in a, you know, if you're, if you're the kind of person who doesn't like to do lots of stuff, you know, pencil conservationist, I like to say, you could just check the little sides. Little and middle. Are they bigger than big? If they are, you're good to go. Okay, so I want, like you, whoopsie, to head into Schoology and practice telling me, can these three trying, can these three side lengths create a triangle? Yes or no. There are no maybe so's. It's either yes or no. Little and middle have to be bigger than big. Not the same. Bigger. Okay. See you in Schoology.